will be spending the next 24 hours in America's most polluted river. But there's a catch. Not only will I be surviving in this river, I will also be collecting as much trash as humanly possible, which is probably the most dangerous thing I've ever done. I'm literally shivering right now. It's so cold. There's people all around us. Now let's pick up some trash. This is so sad. There's so much trash here. This one's full, we need another bag. There's a ton of trash in that river. We realized if we wanted to clean inside the river, we probably need to be in the river. So let's go get a boat. Matt, I don't know how to swim. That's why we're getting a boat. And if I fall overboard? You'll be fine. Hey! Since we're going into a Bass Pro Shop, I wanna look official with the merch. Where is the rafts at? Rafts downstairs in the camping. Do you think those are safe to take in the Missouri River? I wouldn't. It's more of like an ocean, and Missouri River, it's a lot of trees and a lot of stuff. So, so it'll probably pop. pop very easy. So it's pretty dangerous? Yeah. I'll take it. It's not safe, but we gotta clean the trash. This video is part of the Team Seas project created by Mr. Beast and Mark Rober. For every one dollar donated, one pound of trash will be removed from our oceans and rivers. Do you guys like my hat? Yeah, it's amazing. It's our collective goal to come together as a community and raise 30 million dollars and remove 30 million pounds of trash out of the water. Let's do it. To try and make the biggest impact, I contacted my friends around the globe to help. First, meet Mav. This is the dirtiest river in India. If you were here, you'd be able to smell it. I'm going to be trying my level best to clean as much plastic as possible. And now meet my great friend from Africa, Clifford. This is the mighty Zambezi River. It's super dirty and today we clean it up. Most people don't really clean the waters because of the crocodiles and hippos. They actually eat people. When my friends started cleaning, it was time for me to deploy my boat. This is our life and this small box is our boat. This is it? How are we supposed to use it? Says so step one, unfold. Unfortunately, we were never in the Boy Scouts. We have no idea what we're doing. We need to get this boat up fast because it's getting dark. We might be here a while. While he's inflating our future boat, I'm gonna start cleaning up some trash. Boat's full! So right now, I'm the only one in the raft, and there's not that much room. We gotta fit two more people and survive the night. I hope this works. Oh my gosh, Matthew. As I was ready to set sail, we weren't the only ones that needed a boat to reach more trash. Most of the trash is in the middle of the water, so you're gonna need the point. This is so dangerous. My family thinks I'm crazy. The hippos are so aggressive. While Clifford started his journey, Mav was busy cleaning up in India. This white layer that you can see on top is not actually ice. It's actually a toxic foam that is built from people dumping all sorts of waste into the river. This boat is so small. No. <laughs> Nolan, are your legs just in the water? If we need to turn, I'll use my feet. All right, I have a challenge for us. I want to touch that bridge over there. Let's go. <laughs> no. I want to touch that way no. over there. No. Let's go. I don't know if I want to go over there. Why? We have to. I did no. the challenge. Why don't we do a vote? <laughs> yeah. Let's do a yeah, vote. Like Who wants to go over there? No. Me. Who doesn't? I don't. <laughs> As we made our way to the bridge, Clifford has a huge problem. One, one, one. Cleaning up trash just got a lot harder. An aggressive hippo and her baby circled Clifford and his friends. <laughs> Look, I'm shaking, man. I'm shaking. Okay. I'm really shaking right now. We are literally on the middle of this busy right now. So any single mistake could literally kill us. We're still out here. <laughs> I'm literally freezing. My entire foot's in the water. We gotta touch that wall. Come on, Nolan. As we made our way to the wall, we netted up a ton of trash. So dirty that you can't see underneath the water. And you can only see when this animal is actually come out. So basically, we advise not to actually do that in the water. Because anytime, you could literally fall in there and die. Right now, we are currently in the middle of the river. Nolan, I want to touch that wall. Come on. But this is so hard here. We're so close to that wall, Nolan. We're going the wrong way. Come on, turn. Turn it. Turn the boat. We're so close to the wall. This has taken us about two and a half hours to go from there to here. All right, I'm gonna whip you around. If you touch that <laughs> damn wall like you never touched the wall before. Come on, I'm about to touch the wall. Yes. We did it. My legs are still in the water. When the sun went down, it got extremely cold and hard to see the trash. It's about 11 o'clock at night right now. We've been out here for hours. My hand is so cold. I can't even feel it. Oh. I have never felt this type of, of a cold before. I'm sleepy. It's raining extremely hard, so we're staying under this bridge for shelter. It's so cold. While I froze on the Missouri River, my friends across the world were busy cleaning up the shores. It's 12 a.m. My feet, they're still in the water. And Matt, this is his challenge. And look who's asleep. Fast asleep, lazy bat. This is when we noticed we were being watched by a bunch of people on shore holding bats and weird items. I hear people talking. Right over there. Where's my light? Do you see that? Oh, there's a fire over there. So there's people living under the bridge over there and they can see us. No one go the other way. I literally can't get us anywhere. My arms are tired. The current's pulling us the wrong way. Right now we got the lights off because there's a car coming. We gotta hide. Get to shore. Let's get out of it. 
No one turn us right, left. I'm literally shivering right now, it's so cold. Oh, my back hurts so bad. We had to sneak out. Here's Nolan. Nolan, come on. There's people all around us. We gotta get out of here ASAP. Let's start, let's take a little faster pace. There's people following us, I think. There was voices and people screaming all around us. We had to run to the truck. We had to just run up to the car because we saw people coming towards us. I'm so dirty, my hands are freezing. My hands have never been this cold in my life, feel that. It's the next day and Mav was still busy cleaning the rivers in India. To make things even more interesting, for every trash item my friends pick up, I'll give them a dollar. Are you for real? Yeah. Holy s***, a Gatorade bottle. In the water? What is he doing? Three dollars. Cleaning up the river was super rewarding and I really appreciate my friends Cheyenne, Nolan, Clifford, and Matt for the help. We will be donating $500 to Team C's. Open the bag up. Oh. Kobe. Wait, holy shit. $10. $11. For what? He just found it over there. You found 11 bucks? I'm rich. One random person that donates to the cause and subscribes to the channel will be flown out to Hawaii with me and the beam team for a future video to really show appreciation for how beautiful our oceans are. Me and my friends have collected a ton of trash, but we need your help. Donate to Team Seas to make the world a better place.